What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode. I saw some videos here on YouTube on people teaching how to make a drop down menu. But guess what? Most of them are still using floats and weird hacks like clear and things like that. But since we are no longer living the age of the dinosaurs, I decided to make a great one using Flexbox. I promise you, no float left, but just Flexbox. So today we are gonna create a drop down menu bar using Flexbox. Let's get started. Alright, let's get started really from scratch. In the beginning, all you have is this folder with two pictures inside of it, okay? You're gonna have that down below in the video description. Let's fire up our brackets and in here, let's create our file structure, okay? It's just two files. First of all, let's open up that folder, okay? In my case, it's already in here. So let's create our index.html for our markup. Remember that you can copy our the markup from our Facebook page, okay? It's there for free. And the second one is going to be our style.css, all right? Let's come back here to our index.html and let's create our boilerplate. Hit exclamation and tab and then there we go. Here in the head, we are going to create a title, let's say something simple like drop down menu bar, okay, with HTML and CSS. We also need to grab the a link for Font Awesome because we're going to be using a, a couple of icons as you saw, okay. And another thing we need here, the last thing we need here is going to be a link that's going to connect our H HTML to our CSS, all right? And yeah, it's done. All right, now let's go to the body down here and let's create a nav and the ID main nav. In here, let's create our another list URL and some allies, okay? Inside this one, is going to have our echo tag and let's have also this icon from font awesome okay the first one home as you can see we have the home link and also a icon from font awesome and now let's create the second one services and this one is gonna have a sub menu okay because of that we need also to have an arrow showing the user that we really have a submenu in here, okay? Down below here, is still inside our LI, let's create another UL and the class is gonna be a submenu, okay? And here, let's create three LIs and icons, of course. And our service is gonna be HTML, CSS, oops, is the wrong place. Let me put it inside the link. Create here the link and GS for JavaScript. All right, down below here, let's create another LI and a anchor tag inside of it. Okay, and let's use font awesome. Let's create a nice icon here. This one is gonna be training. Okay, as you can see. I'm, we are coding the right and you see the result in real time on the left. That's the best way of learning, okay? You are really learning by doing, not just theory. And in here, let's have another UL. This UL here is going to be our submenu, okay? We're going to have three uh, elements here. The first one here, let's call it front end. Second one back end and that oops. Okay, this is our submenu. This one is gonna have a submenu inside of it. Okay, so we need a let's create the arrow point to the right, showing the user that you have a submenu in it. Okay, you can copy and paste this one. 
is going to be my Facebook page. Okay, it's done. And in here, let's have our submenu tool. Okay, URL submenu tool. All right. Let's create inside this one. Let me see three allies. We have our angle tag. And here, let's see, say coding, building, and the last one, let's say testing. All right. Down below here, let's create two simple ones. Okay, two simple menus. All right. Let's grab the icon from Font Awesome. And this one, let's say contact. All right, let's go to the last one now. Ally, our anchor tag here points nowhere. And this one, let's grab a icon. Okay, and it's gonna be about. All right, this is the our last one. And the last thing we're gonna do here is gonna have our hero. Okay, our hero image. Now we are in the CSS where the magic really happens, okay? First of all, let's start by grabbing the fonts for Google Fonts. We're going to choose here Lato. You can pick whatever you want, okay? Just copy and paste in here. And the second thing we're going to do is going to set our CSS reset, okay? Let's get rid of any margin, any padding. And let's also apply box size and border box to everything. Another thing that you must do here is give some space in between the icon and the text of our menus, okay? So let's give it a margin right of 8 pixels. Next, we are gonna style our links, okay? So let's type main nav anchor and let's pick a color okay this one f6 f7 f8 and let's also add a background so it make the text visible all right for the layout here let's display block let's also set the height of our menu bar to 64 pixels all right and now is the time for us to pick that font from Google Fonts, okay? Font family is going to be Lato, and just fall back if something goes wrong, it's sans serif, all right? Font weight, uh, display is going to be flex, the layout. Let's also align those items to the center. Justify content also center and text decoration none all right let's also give you a transition time to our background because the next step we're gonna change its color okay let's do it right now okay let's grab our main nav our echoes and add a hover okay let's make the background color change every time you hover over the, the links, all right? Let me show you here. Yeah, as you can see, we hover over it and there is a background change color, all right? Now select our URL, okay? Main nav URL. And let's get rid of styles with style none and set the layout to flex next we will grab our allies okay main nav ally and let's give it a width of 100 percent let's also align it to the center and set its position to relative now let's set what happens to our submenu when we hover over our main menu okay so main nav ally hover and sub menu allies okay let's set the display to block and the top here is gonna be zero pixels okay 
let's grab our submenus okay and we want to hide them for now so display none let's position them as absolute and top is gonna be zero pixels as you can see on the left we no longer can see them now we style our submenus I mean our URLs we're gonna set our layout for flex and we'll also change the direction for row to column for position let's say absolute and let's also give a width of 100% okay so let's see here as you can see our submenu is okay all right now let's grab our submenu to our allies okay our list using hover and let's see what will happen when we hover over it okay display let's set it to block and let's see here once we click here as you can see now they are visible and they are displayed as block let's give some space here and grab our submenu to allies okay let me type here submenu to allies and display let's set it to none all right for submenu 2 let's grab this one and let's make it a, a flex container change the direction from row to column for position absolute top is going to be zero pixels the left let's give it 100 percent and let's give it a width of one, 120 pixels and as you can see it will start to have a nice effect right okay and now you remember those arrows that you just created in the markup okay they are too close to our text to our menu here so let's give it a space with margin left 8 pixels okay and let's also change its call to AEA and let's also shrink its size to 12 pixels as you can see now it's much better much nice effect and we did the same to the DevOps 2 okay our drop down menu is looking good it's looking okay but there is a thing we need a logo it's gonna make it much better if you have a logo here of your company of yourself okay so let's create this ally here and this echo tag and in that one let's have our logo all right as you can see it's too big but we're gonna handle that and yeah i know now let's get rid of this math okay let's select our image position absolute and the height 110 pixels we did a nice job together but it's, there is still something we can do we can add a hero image here okay so background image you let's pick this url and the hero and background size let's say cover all right and for the background position center the height here we can pick something like 100 h but if you do that we're going to have this ugly scroll bar so you're going to use calc 100 h less the 64 pixel of our nav bar so now we have it okay A very nice page Alright guys, we just finished our project. As you can see, it's a nice project. Congratulations to you, You're, you did well. If you like it, you know what to do, subscribe and you also click that little bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.